can't decide. But first, I want to hit right there. Ah, oh, that was definitely a hit. Them freaking Kytex, dude. I'm telling you, they suck. Look at that. One bass just hit the. He caught the tail. Is what he did. One little bass, and you're like done. Oh my goodness. That, my friends, boys and girls, folks at home, is why I need something. Now these do work. These are awesome baits. They will catch you fish. Problem is. You will go through a lot of those baits and they're not cheap. You say they are cheap? No, they're really not cheap. For as many, no more than what you get for as much as they cost and they can be gone like that fast. And so you can honestly go through, I've gone, I've done it. Like I've gone through a pack and you're wishing you had more of that color. So it's that kind of thing. So you almost need like very multiple packs of colors that may work and then you got all that room. I don't know, just dude. dude. My rambling on here, that's because I just hate it when you get soft plastics that just, there's no life expectancy. It's like one bass could be gone. That sucks. Just that thought of that sucks. It's, it's like, why not just go buy some freaking minnows? Seriously. Why not just go buy minnows and fish with live bait if... You know, every time you throw something out, it, it's gone and you got to put another one and... For whatever reason though I found all chatter baits work way better with a trailer now some guy I use these I like to cross some guys claim the swim bait tail thing I have not had near the luck as I do with these guys and maybe the way I'm swimming it or whatever I don't know all right enough of rambling on enough rambling let's throw right back in there and see if that bass still wants to eat some more Kytex if he took that tail again, I'm going to be mad. Nope, it's still there. But I had the same kind of issue with the uh, Reaction Innovation Sweet Beavers. They, they worked awesome when I first started using them. But I was actually going through like a couple packs every time I went out fishing. And it was like, man, that kind of sucks. Because then you need like... Did you guys see that? And got me all tangled up. Oh man, this chatterbait morning is starting out just like my topwater morning. It's it's a struggle, and the struggle is real. Yeah, very real. Got my knots. Oh my goodness. Don't worry. We will persevere. Promise you. Yeah, maybe. Get off of there. Freaking dude, I just know that Kytex going to be gone. I just know it. I just get... Oh my god. What do you guys think? It's like... Oh my goodness, it's wrapped around the tip too. I should put this on as like a bloopers thing. This is like driving me nuts. Like, oh yeah, use a braid. It's awesome. It is, but... Sometimes when you set the hook and nothing's there, like on a topwater bait or certain things, that braid comes back like a... And wraps around itself the rod anything in its path then it kind of sucks but it's not that bad okay here we go key tech is still there my mind's in one piece that was a very little bass yanking completely out of the water he was there we go that is finally the struggle has paid off because this hole has been a nightmare and it has turned into a delicious honey hole oh yeah the taste of success is oh so sweet. What do you guys think? Mwah. Am I nuts? Sure I am. Whoa. Been called a weirdo, which I took as a compliment. Let's go.